Kim's intention of becoming Burnout 2 on motorbikes sadly falls short, which is a shame as a lot of work has gone into the various options. There are 22 bikes to tear through the streets full of city traffic, and at times it reminds you of Grand Theft Auto by throwing in the police who give chase if you insist on cutting up other cars on the street. Titles reminiscent of Speed Kings generally have one thing in common, the environments are better looking. And in the case of GTA, much more immersive. Here the backgrounds are bland and boring. The control system also leaves much to be desired, requiring a major feat of contortion in order to reach all the buttons necessary to both steer and master all the tricks. It may be part of the overall challenge, but it soon wears thin. There's no denying that the game is blisteringly fast and smooth to play, it's all a bit off-putting when it's as bland and uninteresting as this. another title to rent before you buy, and only if you're a die-hard bike gamer.